today I want to talk about being grateful and coming from Humble Park, from a broken home with no dad, from the statistics of babies having babies, a teen mother, and also working hard in everyday life to surpass all those. And I am one of those statistics, a teen mom. But that didn't stop me. I decided that yes, I am a teen mom, but I need to work for my child without a broken home. But that also didn't happen. I had the baby and we, in another broken home, another statistic. But yes, what I did continue to do was educate myself. I went to school, I went to Clemente, I went to um, work at Rainbow in the neighborhood. I, f I made ends meet just to give my child and the statistics rid of that. So I continue to educate myself and my mother, being a single mom herself, decided to run a restaurant from the trunk of her car. And with, um, in the Humble Park area, so we decided to just sell the food and make ends meet. And here I stand today as today's Inspire Latina in a restaurant that's been in business for 20 years. And yes, si sí, se puede. I am a triumph. I am the light for those women today in my area because I still live in Humble Park. You can't detach from that. That is home that will always be home and I will never forget where it came from. There was this particular teacher in, in Clemente that really, really did an impact on me. When I was telling her about the story of how I would take my child into the Humble Park area and him playing with the ball and I would say, all the pasteles my mom would cook from the, in the trunk of the car. So I would sell it and I knew we would be a little bit better off. But that struggle of her being a single mother, I being a single mother, did everything to move forward and have faith in myself. Because everybody around in that time, I didn't see someone wanting to get out of that area and those um, hard times. But deep down inside, I knew that there was something else better, better for myself, better for my child. And the statistics kept continuing because I ended up before 19 with three, three children, but it never stopped me. And one day, I was sitting in front of the TV and I seen a commercial. It was a lady in the middle of the ocean and she looked at so lost, just like I was looking at the commercial. I saw myself on that boat. And when I focused on what this commercial was about, I like looked at her and I saw myself and this bottle comes to the boat and she opened the bottle and it read, if you want to change your life, call. And I paused for a second. Then all the noise of the kids started coming back and I'm like, I need to call. I need to make a change. So I decided to go back to school for a medical assistant. While my mother had my sister, younger than I, in the kitchen still selling food from the trunk of her car, I went and I educated myself with that. My mom saved up so much money to work at the um, Puerto Rican festivals. And from there, everybody would ask, oh, how did, um, where's the restaurant located? And we were like, no, we don't have a restaurant. They're like, oh, you should. So my mom saved more money while I continued working at the um, hospital. 
and moving forward and the statistics. And today I stand here as today's Inspired Latina. And that commercial, my mom's drive to move forward, I stand here 20 years later and the restaurant is thriving, successful. And if I did it from Humble Park, you can do it too. So I am grateful for this opportunity and I, it opened doors for me that I leave open for everyone to follow. Thank you. My name is Maricel Melendez.